Hey everyone, I'm Johnny and today we are looking at 10 aircraft carrier movies that went the extra mile and filmed on real carriers despite the cost and complexity of doing so. Shake a leg, Barney, there are two flights coming in. Starting from oldest to newest, The Bridges at Tokori, 1954. Set on a carrier during the Korean War, follows Grumman F9F pilots. The movie was filmed aboard two real World War II era carriers, USS Gariskini and USS Kearsage, both Essex-class carriers. The squadron in the story, the F-192 Golden Dragons, is a legitimate squadron, active during the filming, which took place largely at the US naval base in Yokosuka, Japan. The movie also features the period-specific Sikorsky H-5 helicopter, overall a well-received movie for its time, and one of the few that covers the Korean War. Some of the flight sequences involved large-scale models, cut with actual combat footage. There is lengthy footage throughout the film, featuring no dialogue with excellent shots of carrier operations. Tora Tora Tora, named after the code word indicating complete surprise had been accomplished at Pearl Harbor. The film used a number of mock-ups, particularly T-6 Texans for Mitsubishi Zeros, and some models you'd certainly like to take to the lake. But the film also had access to the World War II carrier USS Yorktown, which is a museum ship in South Carolina. She served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. They were able to disguise the Yorktown's modern catapults to recreate a Japanese-like carrier. At the end of the film, the American carrier entering Pearl Harbor was in fact the Iwo Jima-class amphibious assault ship USS Tripoli. Admiral, we don't want to get caught in here like they did. I don't intend to. When can you be ready for sea again? Fuel and provision during the night, sir, and be underway before dawn. Good. That's good. I take my carriers up here to a point uh, northeast of Midway. Lie there and wait for an Nagumo. Midway, 1976. Centered around one of the most significant naval battles in history, Midway was filmed aboard the USS Lexington, which unlike during the filming of the 2001 Pearl Harbor movie, was still in service and not yet a museum ship. The film also features a genuine Catalina flying boat, depicting all the search and rescue scenes. Many of the takeoff and landing scenes in the film use period stock footage. The movie overall gets mixed reviews, but if you can get through the side plots, it's well worth watching. Signal the Hornet, Captain Browning. Let's get to battle stations. Alert one, this is Eagle One. You're cleared to fire. Splash the zeros. Get the, girl. the Final Countdown, 1980, based on a true story. No, it's a science fiction movie, and the only one on the list, but it also has some of the best carrier scenes out of all the films. The concept is a modern carrier, the USS Nimitz, is sent back through time right before the attack on Pearl Harbor. You'll get to see some very cool flight scenes including two Tomcats splash a couple of zeros. If you like carriers, watch this film, as it's almost entirely centered around the Nimitz, with lots of the real crew getting some speaking roles and camera time. Watch the birdie. Jeez, I cracked myself up. Top Gun, 1986, everyone's favorite 80s flight movie. If you're watching this video, you've probably seen Top Gun at least twice takes place on the USS Enterprise, centered around the F-14A Tomcat. The F-14s you see on this film are VF-51 Screaming Eagles. Here's one with an original paint job. F-14s have some of the best paint schemes of any modern fighter. Paramount paid today's equivalent of almost $19,000 an hour per aircraft flown. However, the Navy still footed a large portion of the bill and were able to benefit from the film, setting up recruiting booths outside the theater screening the movie. The pilot flipping the bird in this scene is now astronaut Scott Altman. The fictitious MiG-28 enemy aircraft depicted are actually Northrop F-5s. You are still dangerous. You can be my wingman anytime. Hey Sammy, how you doing out there, man? You enjoying yourself? How's the doc? I think Mad Jack's asleep. No, I'm not. Flight of the Intruder, 1991, follows Grumman A-6 Intruder pilots during the Vietnam War, 
aboard the USS Independence, which actually operated off Vietnam starting in 1965. The Navy provided two weeks aboard the carrier to film the movie, which included the use of A6E intruders from VA-165 attack squadron. The movie has a host of numerous authentic vehicles, and the production team was granted access to much of the carrier for filming. The story is sometimes criticized by reviewers, but it has a solid cast and great carrier and flight sequences. Hey guys, come on, we got a squad room meeting, okay, Jake? All right, all right, all right. I I wonder if we shouldn't put the Pacific Fleet on full alert. Pearl Harbor, 2001. Probably the most hated film on the list, but I like it. It has some good flight scenes anyway. The production team had access to the USS Lexington, a museum ship at the time of filming, but a genuine World War II carrier which fought at the Battle of the Philippine Sea and Lete Gulf. She was used to represent both the USS Hornet and a Japanese carrier, understandably upsetting some veterans groups. The Doolittle raid sequence was filmed on the USS Constellation, a post-war carrier, and the B-25Js on her deck are the real thing, with four of them actually making flight for the film. Behind Enemy Lines, 2001, a movie very loosely based on an Air Force captain who was shot down over Bosnia in 1995. The film's protagonist is an F-A-18 Super Hornet pilot shot down behind enemy lines. However, much of the beginning of the movie has great carrier sequences, with all exterior footage filmed on the USS Carl Vinson, with some of the interiors filmed on the USS Constellation. Behind Enemy Lines is also the first movie ever to get permission to use and film with F-A-18 Super Hornets with some fun, but kind of unreal flight sequences. Golden Eagle, Archangel, we have been engaged! Roger. Put our decoys there! Copy, hang on! As you can see behind me, on the USS Harry S. Truman, activity is high, as foreign nationals continue to be evacuated from all over Nigeria. Tears of the Sun, 2003 follows the fictitious Navy SEALs operation in Nigeria, operating off the USS Harry S. Truman. The film has brief but well-shot moments on the carrier, including some decent F-A-18 scenes. As with many of these movies, the deck crews are legitimate military personnel. Overall, this is one of the best movies on the list. The F-A-18 scenes at the end are pretty cool, though with lots of impractical low and close flying for dramatic effect. White smoke, LT. Let her rip, Dad! This is dangerous move! Roger that. Coming in hot. His exploits are legendary. All right, Top Gun Maverick 2021. Originally to be released in 2019, but delayed due to COVID. If you've seen it, give us some more information in the comments section below. I'm guessing it's going to be great. Filmed on the USS Abraham Lincoln and USS Theodore Roosevelt, it looks like there's going to be some immersive carrier scenes and Maverick will finally be flying an F-A-18E Super Hornet, and even a P-51 Mustang. The film will be in 6K and IMAX, and includes some new filming technology developed just for cockpit sequences. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Today's exercise is dogfighting. Get on board, get on board. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this quick breakdown on carrier movies. If you want to add to anything I've said or suggest other movies, please do so in the comments section. As always, if you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.